Good morning. As always, I was sitting up watching the news before I get ready to head out of the house and go to work. And guess what? We got us a good win in the two-way community. Even if you don't like the bump stocks, we still got a win. Check this out right here. The record has reversed. And another thing too, I don't know why when I record off of my phone and I got it pointing at the TV screen why you see that blue tint for it. I have absolutely no idea why it does that for it. A five-year ban, a five-year-old ban, rather, on gun accessories known as bump stocks that was enacted after the 2017 mass shooting at the concert in Las Vegas. The court's conservative majority found that bump stocks, which allow a shooter to quickly fire a semi-automatic rifle, do not convert firearms into machine guns. Willie James Inman has more. The Supreme Court struck down a Trump-era ban on bump stocks. The conservative majority found that the Trump administration overstepped when it banned the gun accessories that allow a rate of fire comparable to machine guns. They're really saying the ATF, you went out of your lane. Congress could, if they wanted to, as a legislative matter, decide to ban bump stocks. The move to outlaw bump stocks came after a gunman in Las Vegas fired more than a thousand rounds at a 2017 country music festival from a casino hotel suite in 11 minutes. His semi-automatic rifles equipped with bump stocks. Writing for the majority, Justice Clarence Thomas detailed how the ATF on more than 10 separate occasions and over several administrations concluded that a semi-automatic rifle equipped with a bump stock is not a machine gun because it cannot fire more than one shot by a single function of the trigger. Justice Sonia Sotomayor in the dissent sharply disagreed, stressing a rifle equipped with a bump stock can fire at a rate of 400 to 800 rounds per minute. Writing, when I see a bird that walks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, I call that bird a duck. What the court did today is really rolling back what otherwise is important progress to be made to prevent gun violence in America. Friday's Joe Supreme Bay, Court ruling doesn't mean bump stocks are now legal nationwide. 17 states and the District of Columbia currently have laws banning them. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington. And in a statement following the Supreme Court's decision, President Biden called on Congress to ban bump stocks and pass an assault weapons ban. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said Democrats are ready to enact a federal ban but needs support from Republicans. Princess Kate says she will attend...